I'd like to call upon Courtney's higher self, please. Yes, I'm here. Thank you so much. Are you able to do a body scan and let me know what is happening to her body today? Yes, and when you were calling on the pyramid, it's like she could see her body being scanned already, circling around there. It's like she's laying on this, this bed in this like it's like this iridescent clear triangular room and spinning around and just yeah going up and down and scanning scanning Her body's fine. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Could you let us know, please, higher self, about the blue crystal and the fifth dimensional information and elements? How are they connected to Courtney? It's like there's these, almost like these, um, like these diamond cuts of ice sculptures. Uh, there's this. Um, so she's seeing this, um, like a breakthrough in the ice, um, that it's like, almost like this fluorescent bright blue water. Um, and it's down in the, these, these crystals are down beneath this bright, 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 beautiful blue water. Um, Ice Age, um, the, these crystals were part of like the formation of this inner earth. It's like this, um, it's like this, these crystals, and then the crystals just keep growing like these, or there's like layers that are, um, that are expanding on the outside of this crystal formation. And so this crystal formation is related to like this, uh, the very beginning of this earth plane, this, um, like this spark of the, 
of what it's of what the earth is composed of like all of the stardust particles that 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 came together to, like um to form this crystal or crystals um that were essentially the beginning of the earth itself and then it's like these layers um, forming around forming like over this crystal formation and it goes back to the it goes back to the like to just the beginning of the of of this this it's like this never ending black hole of infinite time and space but it's like everything just kind of uh the uh, simultaneously happen to bring this formation together and it's it was it's like she's this her soul essence is like this like part of this uh spark of the connection in part of source itself and so it's like she her soul essence is connected to that formation of this inner earth crystal and There, so throughout time and the formation that has built upon that, it's like these, um, it's almost like from the outer earth, like different pockets of water that stream that's still like there's like this connection of this water to these crystals and basically just like an extension of formation and extension of connection from the outer to the inner but it's um, it's through the it's through it's only through the ice caps. There's not this. There's this. It's not related to uh, other continents or land masses. It's like it's the connection is at the ice caps. And so, oh, wow. All right, she's seeing these ice caps, some of them like breaking up and, and breaking away and this like neon blue light coming out, like shining through. And that is, that has like a direct, connection to these from the ice caps to through the these inner earth crystals amazing and so what will happen when the ice caps mount or what needs to happen well what will we notice happening shall i say
So it's it's parallel with the the rise in energies and the 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 changing of the weather and it's almost like um can't tell if it's um if it's like a lightning strike or if that if it's just uh showing like um symbolically that it's like instantaneous this like shock of of energy like this this volt of energy that just hits the ice caps they it's like they it cracks open and there's steam there's steam coming up and there's literally like this electric blue light coming up and it's like the it's like at this um it's like a freeing it's like in this uh, expansion of of energy and of information and also connection it's like unlocking unlocking gaia it's um uh, it's like it's part of like her breathing process it's It's like one event that is will break open these ice caps like there's cracking open and it's just like this release it's almost as though It's almost as though, wow, like that's the end. Just like the beginning was this formation. It's almost like that's the very end of her, her existence. Um, like breaking open, breaking free. And it's just like, like everything starts to just like crack wide open to, and just falls away. Like things just fall away. It's like, that is the end of earth as we know it. Will there be at that time uh, no one uh, living on the planet when that occurs? It does feel that way because everything like when scanning the earth and the the lands, it just feels and appears to be the land masses left. And then the breaking away of the ice caps that essentially just breaks open her herself and everything just falls away. No, there does not, there, the, all the animals and humans are gone. Do you get a sense of how many timelines in different times that event would be occurring when 
from our timeline that we're on now, how far away would that event be? Mm -hmm. um, the number seven is appearing, but I'm not sure if that means seven timelines or seven years. Mm. Just showing seven. I, I'm not. In terms of the current time, new timeline that Courtney is in now, uh, what would you like her to know that's different from the other sessions we've done uh, in those timelines? Right. She's just trying to sort things out um, because she's seeing her childlike self playing in this like long um, grass that's blowing in the wind and she's going back to like actually seven is coming in again. She's seeing her seven-year-old self. and playing in the grass, like running and skipping and skipping along this open field and the wind blowing and going, going forward. It's, Um, see this long so like she's seeing ladders and ladders and jumping jumping from ladder to ladder um, as far as what is okay, this is really strange. I don't. She's seeing like a blade of grass growing, growing like a new blade of grass growing taller and just like the ladder is going up, this blade of grass going up and Um, there's, there's nothing, everything seems very uh, abstract. There's nothing real clear that's, that's coming in. And she's being distracted because she hears her kids. <laughs> um, okay, thank you. It's okay. Uh, so we'll ask for Courtney's subconscious to come in, please, so we can have some conversations. 